nothing. Come on, Miyoko. Kaiju! Giant monster! Groovy! Thank you, Professor. The information you gave us will help us kill the monster. Prepare the bomb! No, General, please. You must not kill Mama Nutzilla. She's only trying to protect her eggs. You asked for my help and... And you gave it. She is too big. We must kill her, proctologist. Paleontologist? Proctologist is a doctor who looks at... But that doesn't matter. She's only big because she ate fermented berries on Mount Sakitumi. Let me find a way to make her her true size again. Out of the way, girly man. Yes, you know. No. Mama Nutzilla! It is my fault. My fault. I will save your baby. Aha! Is a sign. Ohio means Hello? I will not let you out of sight, little kaiju. It's Pinky, promise. Oh, I think I make a big mistake. Papa San would say I'm a fool. Ichihiro Honda. Son? You are Orokamono. Hi. Fool. Yes, you, Papa San. It's true. But I promised my monsters that. You cannot bring that egg to America. They still haven't forgiven us for Katsu. I am sorry, Papa San. I know I was big Shitsubo. Disappointment to you, but. Oh. For an article. <laughs> sorry, Tiny Soap. <laughs> Sorry, tiny kaiju. time today and it's only 9.15. Blasted manly beard. So following today's test of reactor core number 66, as long as it doesn't melt down, we'll... Just look at you. Every man admires you and every woman desires you. How can anybody do science when you look like that? Please, Shirley Gurley, I understand why you feel this way, but no more of this inappropriate behavior. I'm sorry, what, Dr. Blowhart? Just don't let it happen again. What? And say, lose the Coke bottles. None of the boom boys. Physicists. Like the way they look. Well, I need them to read the charts. Well, okay. But do the lip quiver. <laughs> I love it when you do that. It's so you. All right, you can keep the glasses, but only when you're dressed as a physicist. I am a physicist. Listen, I said I'd make you a boom boy, and I will. Just let nurture take its course. Nature. <laughs> See, under an hour, we're cooking with... And what's it called again? Plutonium-239. Right. Hard to remember. They should call it something like, wow powder. I brought you something. Me. <laughs> oh, I'm just funning. But really. The mensch of menches. Oh, our lives have meaning again. Please, please, gentlemen, I understand your odor. Ardor. But we have science to do. 
How is my favorite Swedish physicist? Actually, I'm from Mankato, don't you know? It's in Minnesota. Basis does? That's German. Oh, I can feel it. Today is the day. First, there was the A-bomb. Then Truman personally asked me to oversee the B, C, D, and E bombs. He let off a lot of F bombs. Oh, hilarious. First Jerry Louise, now you, très brillant. He's French. Yeah. Then there was the H bomb, that was followed by the K, J, I, L. <laughs> Dr. Shortman, have you calibrated your plutonium rods? That's a rather personal question. <laughs> Does that even mean anything? No. Nope. Nope. Wait, is that estrogen I smell? Why, it could cause a hormonal explosion, man. <laughs> <clears throat> Think about it, men. Assuming reactor number 66 doesn't explode. Like reactors one through 65. This is what men and a few unattractive women in pantsuits have dreamed of since the Garden of Eden. Unlimited power. I think what Dr. Blowhart's- Let's do science, people! Everyone, attach anti-radiation devices. Now, engaging in quasi-scientific jargon. Dr. Mungish, I have all circumnavigational hydropepi kilowousers. Uh, inspect the structural integrity of the hydroelectric units. What to do that? Um, Dr. Shortman, check Foghorn Lakehorn Department in Chuck Jones mode, adjusting for rude condescension. I confirm the radiation levels in the containment sleeves. Yep. Dr. Block, rotate radial tires with counter-revolutionary turbine porridge ratio. I'm sorry, I don't even know what that one is. I'll just flip through these toggle switches. Dr. Boutte, check my demeanor with Tor Tomes of Taunting Technology. Oui, I will check you very good, Dr. Blowhart. Why do I find it so attractive when he does that? Commencing countdown in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4... Not close enough! Commence self-throwing! Another meltdown. Oofta. Plots. That dog will never hunt. Ha! Biggest one yet! Time to beat feet, toots. I'm afraid if we keep increasing plutonium levels, Did you we'll... know plutonium symbol is P-U? <laughs> I love that. Yes, I did. Wait, what's that? Is it reptilian? Could be Democrat. But it must have been shaken loose from the subterranean shelf. It's not even Easter yet. But what period? Uh, probably 1920s. They were big on red. Jurassic? Hark! I'll x-ray it. Well, we can talk about this at dinner, along with my plans for atomic testes. Testing. Yes, and that's how you're behaving right now. Testy? Uh, I'm sorry. I just need a life of my own, doctor. I mean, mister. Come on, Shirley, girly. Where's that little giggle I love? <laughs> <laughs> that is so you. Okay, Mac, four-way chili with beans and no silverware, cause you got- Chapo Hi. Hi. No, sorry, hi means- Yeah, I know. Just teasing. You've been in here every day for a week. Ever eat at another restaurant? There is other restaurant? <laughs> well, Tanoshi. Matsu, wait. You know Japanese? Looked it up, professor. You know I, I am professor? It's alive. What is? I'll be sure not to order it. The egg. The x-ray showed movement. I can't tell what species it is, but it's definitely a living dinosaur. Oh, probably not a lot of those. None. Nuns? No, since now he's got lots of those. It's very Catholic. Dinosaurs. There are definitely no living dinosaurs in Ohio. Make that America, Doc. Whoa. It's over there, fella. Tell Tojo we won. You beakers need to meet this guy. Hi. Hi. Well, at least he speaks English. He's a paleontologist. How you know this? This waitress thing is just temp, Professor. 
I'm an investigative reporter, and I don't do fluff neither. I know a scoop when I see it. So how come sometimes I'm stopped up for days, and other times I erupt like Mount Rushmore? No, but that's a proctologist. Uh, this is Dr. Richard Blowhart, renowned nuclear physicist, and I'm... Surely you just. You just. Dr. Shirley, you just. Dr. Blowhart's assistant. I am Professor Ichihiro Honda. Honda? Like the tiny motorcycles? Yes, sir. but soon they make automobile. <laughs> like those will ever replace Studebaker. <gasps> yes, sir. It is my Nozilla. <clears throat> I mean, it is a Nozilla. So it's some kind of hemorrhoid. Do you know what species it is, Professor Honda? Yes, sir. It's Nozirazorus party until dawn. Normally small, about size of, say, a man in a rubber suit. It is not Rawr. but an antsy boy? Harmless. But if exposed to alcohol, it suddenly grew very big. Funny, the opposite happens to me. So how often do you get these giant monsters in Japan, Professor? About every two weeks. Well, listen, Ichi, that's swell, but this is the USA. Ego, we don't have a problem with giant monsters. Kaiju. Kusinti. Arigato. We do important stuff here, like blow things up. Well, it would be good to know more. Can you show me where you find egg? If you want. Yes, sir. I very want. <laughs> He's your boyfriend, Dr. Blowhatton? No, no. I mean, I have a great respect for him. He's my boss and a war hero. When the Germans blew up our lab in Europe, he was the only one to make it out alive. He saved thousands of government documents that became the basis for what we do at Snuggy. Would you like to see Snuggy? Snuggy's big below? <laughs> um, no. Secret nuclear underground government installation. There's a science briefing tomorrow at 8 a.m. I can put your name on the list. Here. I'll write my home address on here. You know, in case we need to... Connect? Oh, and that's where we found the egg. You said it was a Notzillosaurus... Party on till dawn. A species of flat lizard from late Bodacious period. i show you. You see? They are Yasashi. Gentle and in control, as long as they do not eat fermented berries. Aren't we all? Attention, Snuggy employees. Please remove all radioactive materials from pockets and underwear before leaving. Good night. <clears throat> I need a bigger lampshade. It's Blowhard. Where are you? This is the third time I've called. I haven't eaten yet. Look, we need to do research and bring food. That's an ordeal. Odor. Order. Look, you want to be a scientist or not? You little luscious saurus, you. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. You want some of this? Huh? You want some of this? 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you want some more? Uh huh. Here we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I never share. gym joints and all the towns and all the world. The jig is up, Professor Depravo. I'm Dougie Dugwood, boy genius. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Rosebud. Dr. Blowhart, are you there? I'm here, Shirley Gurley. <sighs> is that a dinosaur in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me. It's alive! It hatched! Hero will be so, I mean, Professor Hana will be so excited. And he's, he's kind of cute. I mean, the creature, of course, but how did he get so big? You didn't give him beer, did you? Well, it's about time you got here. Help me get ready for the briefing. I need a shaver. Heck, I need a machete. Stay. What if he escapes from your office? If he does, he's so grounded. Attention, doctors Martha and Rodan. Please meet Dr. Gorgo from Britain in the lobby. Today, you will see our insanely impressive nuclear facility, built with obscene amounts of government funding. Everything here at Snuggie has been built to flawless standards. Oh. Each of our uber-fission reactors emits a thousand times more radiation than the state-of-the-art facility planned for Three Mile Island. <laughs> Please be calm. Had that been serious, the actual room would be shaking. Uh, for your protection, Dr. Mungish will now give you something to make you look cooler than you actually are. Uh, bonjour. I am Dr. Jacques Boutet. Please follow my manly gait to the snuggy cafeteria, where we have a great barbecue planned for you, courtesy of reactor core number 66. <laughs> I know, right? What happened? All I said was, gee, someone ought to go out for more beer. You do not give beer to baby, especially baby Nutzilla. Nutzilla? I was gonna call him Bark. Just two things I wanna know. What creature made that? <gasps> This is only the beginning. I love that line. We must meet at a restaurant to form Keikaku. A plan to say Nozilla. Or kill him. No! What was the other thing? Aren't we supposed to be like 500 stories under the ground? I mean, massive quantities of radiation I can live with, but a dino who bogarts a brew? Never. What is it about these things? I mean, no bujuku tokuto blohatsan. No bujuku token. Taken. But if you have not given biru to Nozilla. Barney. Nozilla, this genus of dinosaur has slow metabolism until it consumes alcohol. Then its pituitary gland become bulbous. So basically, my whole teens. And it grow hokey. 
Gigantico. Like the amazing 60-foot woman with a college degree, only less scary. No, bigger. Bigger like Sky... Sky Terrier. Skyscraper. Mayor Myrtle had one of those. Not that big, though. Is the effect reversible, Dr. Hanta? Yes, sir. But in Japan, Ami always kill monster before I can do urinalysis. This is no time to talk about my feelings. We gotta find this thing. But where do we find it? I couldn't help but overhear about the monster. This is our bus boy, Bobby Bleach from Kentucky. He overheard you too, Wait, Ann. Wait, you both overheard us? This is top secret stuff. I mean, we work in a 500-story subterrarium. Subterranean complex. Full of nuclear reactors, each powerful enough to destroy the Earth 10 times over, and absolutely no one must know about it. Who else overheard? Tell them what you heard, Bobby. Hi, y'all. Ooh, wee. <laughs> a foreign feller? Spit it out, kid. Well, uh, I overheard you all talking about a big old lizard that sucked up a heap of suds. Sucked up a heap of my suds. And then he broke out of y'all's office and went looking for more? Yes. yes. Dang, ain't those just the best? I know, right? Tell him about the phone call, Bobby. Oh, right. Well, about an hour ago, my grandpa, I live with my grandpa down near Cowabunga Bay, he calls and says some big old critter, just like the one y'all's talking about, has took all our beer. Taken. We must go there at once. I'll call a cab. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Look at what he done done to our garage. Only a monster could do this. It's not so bad. Are you blind? Open your eyes. If he was blind, how would that help? Was he raised in a barn? In egg, actually. Look. He left the front door open. I do not think Nozilla did that. Check inside. I bet he left the toilet seat up and the lights on. Why would he do this to our garage? Did he take anything, Bobby? <clears throat> <clears throat> I'll just go check on the fan belt. What did he take? I don't reckon he actually... Why? Yeah, he did. Grandpa's beer. He typed it all. It took. Go on. Grandpa, he likes having a little beer around on them cold cowabunga nights. How much? About 80, 90 cases. He has a lot of girls around. Wait, where is he? Grandpa? Grandpa? <clears throat> What's this? Where? Over here. Aha. Uh -huh. Just as I suspected. The monster has grown... lots bigger. Yes, sir. Is this actually what I want? What is it, Ishii? Mmm, tastes like beer, only salty and warm. <laughs> he has gone to river. What? Did he leave a note? No. His species is born in water. River will remind him of his mother. Aww. Also, as you say, blow hard sad. It's a lot bigger. Do you have boat? Uh, yes, we have boat. I mean, yes, Snuggy has a research ship. <laughs> he must be stopped. This is only the beginning. How often does he say that? Dr. Block, did you bring the prestidigious shooting device? Animal tranquilizer gun. Oh, for sure. What? Huh? Yeah, you betcha. Great. Actually, I do not think Dr. Block is Swedish Blohatsen. I think he's black American person. What? Nonsense. Scientists are white and male. Dr. Block is a first class scientist. Ego, he's white. Next, you're gonna try to tell me that someone on my team is a female. Dr. Butte, did you load the extraterrestrial webby grabber? Animal capture net. I do not need a translation. Female assistant person. I speak manly nuclear physicist fluently. Check, Dr. Blohart. <clears throat> Are we ready, Skipper? Where's our normal captain? Uh, he's out sick. This is Captain Bleach. Bleach, huh? heavier than it did in the lab. 117. What is it? A radar. A correction. It is a super secret atomic radar percolator. Device. No, just device. It 
It's okay. <laughs> Most impressive. What does it do? The same thing as a normal radar, except it's atomic. Ego, it's better. Ah, there's nothing more bracing than the smell of salt water. He knows this is Riva, yes? Time to do science, people. Dr. Butte, man the webby wobbler. We, oui, Dr. Blowhart, I will man the capture nets in the most masculine of manly ways. Oi. <laughs> Blowhartson, I fear net is too small. I have calculated Nozilla consume 28,000 liters of fermented yeast molecule. Plus all that beer. From his urinalysis, I conclude that alcohol work like fission. It causes his cells to... Swell? Yes, sir. No, nothing swell about it, surely, girly. Anything on the super secret? Radar? <laughs> no, nothing yet, Doctor. <laughs> Maybe it's the antenna. Now that trouble with my TV. Or it could be the urinary decatheter. Wait, wait. There are two objects. Very near. Actually, they're here. How many thin mints? Well, Ichi, it looks like your little iguana wasn't so swell after all. Time to call it a night. I'm picking something up. Big deal. So am I. Yes, sir. I see him! How close? Really close. Ow! Look! It is Nutzilla! And... Bus boy. Oh! oh Bobby hidden that barrel. Wait, why is there a barrel of nuclear waste? We missed Thursday's trash pickup. Nutzilla swell very good. Look. We found you. <laughs> no, 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 no. And now you're going to pay. Bobby! Grandpa? Come on, Pally, lose the heat and be cool. Forever, he's going to show now. I just picked him up on the radar. You mean the super secret? Yeah, yeah. And it looks. Yes. It looks like. Yes. It looks like he's headed for. Yes. yes. Cincinnati. I knew it. That always happens. The music or the bit about the monster heading for the city? Both. And I'm the one to stop him. This is only the beginning. That's like the tenth time he said that. I told you, I don't want to play strip scrabble, Larry. Uh, oh. I bring strange red egg from Japan, then I accidentally flush it down airplane toilet. I swear to guest. Would you like to... <sighs> Sorry, nervous make me thirsty. Ew. This is terrible. Yeah, it's new. They call it diet soda. <laughs> it tastes like... Dinosaur pee. <laughs> kind of like beer, only salty. And warm. <laughs> Hiro, why would you come all the way to America just to... Save egg? My father was soldier who killed many men. He always say, Ichi. I hate he called me this. Real man, kill. He always make me feel shame for not wanting to kill. But I always thought, even as boy, no, Papa-san, 
Real man does not kill. Real man saves. And so I dedicate my life to save creature no one else understands. Hi. Yes, sir. I know it's not manly, but... Kiro, I think it's the most manly thing I've ever heard. <clears throat> My dad was a geologist. He always said to follow your heart. Heart go out of chest? No, it's an expression. But he died when I was 10. And then mom said, Shirley, be more like a girl. <laughs> and then I majored in physics, and she said, girls can't be scientists. And Dr. Blowhart says the same thing. He's right. Girl cannot be scientist. But I thought you would... Only woman can be scientist. <phone rings> Blowhart's on. No, I mean Richard. I mean Dr. Blowhart. I'll never be accepted as a real nuclear physicist without him. Shirley Gurley, where are you? Pick up. I need you. Let's see. Attack. D disasters. Monsters. Hollywood. Ah, uh, we don't have a budget for that. Well, uh, Pentagon. Pentagon. Yes, this is Dr. Richard Blowhart, legendary nuclear physicist. Hold, please. Wait, I don't think you realize who you're talking to. Catchy. Like Sorry, Satanists again. They wanted the pentagram. You're dying. Yes, I need to speak to the head of the U.S. Armed Forces. Yeah, well, the head and the feet and even those useless little hairs that you get in your ears of the armed forces are all in a meeting. Some kind of kerfuffle in Cuba. Look, I happen to be head of Atomic Testes for all of Southwest Ohio. Ego, I... Putting you through. What? To who? Try changing the filter. What? This is Dr. Richard Blowhart. Who's this? Dr. Richard Blowhart? No, I am. Who is this really? This is former star Frigidaire General Dirk Bogus. Brigadier General? No, Frigidaire General. I'm head of military refrigeration for all of Southwestern Ohio. Very strategic. Oh. Well, I need to speak to whoever's in charge. Hello? Hello? Cuba. Yes. And that would be me. Ah, I see. Well, we have a little monster problem. Make that a big monster problem with serious flatulence. Ego, we're gonna need some ginormous firepower and some legendary heroic action. Yes! What? I'll round up the firepower. Right. I'll bring the bean dip. Ciao, baby. Kenny? Uncle Dirk? You still want to be a filmmaker? Dude! I thought you were gonna wipe out on that last curl, but you totally slotted it! <laughs> That's totally gonna be a thing! You're gonna score yourself Buku Brew, dude! Party animal? <laughs> oh man, the dino shreds. You brought the tripod, right? Please, Uncle B. Does Francois Truffaut forget his tripod? Ah, Colonel. Stickler, uh, what's our firepower? 17 tanks, 13 rocket launchers, and a dozen fighter jets en route, sir. Good. And are the extras, I mean, uh, what do you call them, the troops? A mass? 650 on Dookie Hill. Tough soldiers? All made out of the same high quality polymer as the artillery. Plus more arriving as we speak. You getting this, Kenny? Hello? Rolling? 
How many arriving? Hard to say. And my co-star? I'm sorry, sir. The dinosaur, darn it! Oh, he's been spotted a mile away. How's the light, Kenny? Warm. Sanguine. Perfect contrast to the impending carnage. But we gotta roll now, or we're gonna lose our irony. You heard him. Cue talent. Cue irony. But I can't just... Uh... Right, sir. Colonel Mustard, fire a rocket volley to draw the, uh, talent's attention. Yes, sir. Closer. It was an ironic sang... sang... Sanguine. Sanguine morning when Dirk Bogus, four-star general... Four. When Dirk Bogus faced the monster from... The pit. Pittsburgh. No! General Bogus, he's here and I think he's seen us. <laughs> yes, he definitely has. Excellent. Action! Rocket launchers, now! them around as if they were nothing but toys. What about the soldiers? Sir, if the rockets can't stop him, I don't see how bullets... Use bigger bullets! Fire, man! How's it look, Kenny? Hideous. Surreal. Kafka-esque. Good fear, people! Sir, the jets are here! We got him. And now he's heading for Cincinnati. We must go there immediately. Right, sir. And develop this footage. I'm here to save the... Hello? Good evening. A huge imported monster broke through our dookie defense today and is believed to be headed towards Cincinnati. Oh, lovely fuchsia sunrise, General. Oh, thanks. Thanks, uh, I call it sanguine. <laughs> is it true you plan to capture the monster? Not just capture him. I want to capture his... I want to cap... His essence. <clears throat> I want to capture his essence, the darkness that lives inside each one of us, the... Primal yearning. In other news, Troop 336 sold a record number of Thin Mints this week. I will save you. I will crush you. Shirley? No, it's bogus. What is? I am. No kidding. You said 8 a.m. I show up 10 minutes late. 10 minutes, and no one's there. Right. So, listen, this is a little embarrassing, but uh, well, we had a little trouble with your monster today, and, well, now all the stores are closed and Amazon hasn't been invented yet, so I was wondering if you had any super-secret atomic weapons lying around? Well, I'd have to look around and see if... Why, yes, of course. What was I thinking? We have a super-secret atomic weapon here, so we'd have to build a full-scale version of it. Get down low and look up. You know how when you get down really low and you look up at something, it's like, oh, wow, it's so big. Great. Can you bring it to? Oh, no, you don't, bogus boy. I operate this baby myself. I'm the hero here. Well, I hope it backfires in your face, Mr. Poopy Face. That's Dr. Mr. Poopy Face to you. Hello. My name is Ichihiro Honda. You kill my monster. Prepare to Itchy. Itchy, you are not a true man. Papa Chant, please, I cannot be you. Itchy, you'll never be a real man. Low heart, son? Please, I cannot. Itchy, 
Do not call me Ichi. I am hero. Oi. I wish I did not skip karate class in high school now. Ichi, you look so calm and so clean shaven. Zen. Really? Wow. Listen, I know things have been strained between us. Strained? We're talking baby poo. It's time to quit pussyfooting around and kill that pet iguana of yours. It's a threat to mankind. You are a threat to mankind. It's ugly and gassy. You are ugly and gassy. It's a toy truck dressed in pink polka dotted pantaloons. You are toy trucking. What? Ha! Huh. Made you say it. <laughs> oh, wow. You're just so immature. <sighs> Can't believe I ever, like, let you hang out with me. Listen to us. You're right. I don't have time for this. I have a super secret uber fission mega blaster to build. What is this blaster? It's a nuclear cannon that shoots 200 radioactive rays with more firepower than the entire Peloponnesian Wars. Or one of those wars. And this is safe? It'll leave a radioactive cloud over Cincinnati for about 50 years, but after that, you'll never even know it was there. Anyway, it's for my... It's for their own good. You are a completely crazy person. Real men kill, Itchy. No, Baba-san. Baba who? Why did I skip karate class? Wait. I win fifth grade composition contest. Warning! I have black belt in haiku. Haiku? Isn't that... Japanese poetry. Yes. And it's devastating when delivered by... Fifth grade master. <laughs> Each falling leaf is like a butterfly whose life has reached conclusion. Why does my old dog, who has no eyes, see more than I shall ever see? God, I love dogs. The boy stood on the burning deck. How many summers shall leave before the winter stays forevermore? is about death. I know, I just figured that out. Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Warrior Storm Castle. But hearts can only be conquered with arrows of love. Here I sit, broken hearted, tried I give. Your words are so sparse and yet so profoundly infused with meaning. I will stop you and save Lucilla. Fine! Then I guess we can't be friends. Finding targets. <laughs> I shall return. Dr. Blowhart, when we started Snuggy, you said I'd be a physicist within three months, but it's been three years. Three years, and yet I realize I still need you to teach me how to be a real scientist. Plus, you're so insanely handsome. Please, well, Shirley Gurley, I'm happy to be your role model, but no more of this inappropriate behavior. Stop! Stop it! Stop it! First of all, I don't need you to be my role model. Second, it's ergo, not ego. As in, let that ergo out of your ego. And third, my last name isn't Gurley. I don't think of you as just a Shirley, with that girly little giggle of yours and that little lip quiver. That you make me do. I hate those. But they're so you. You know what? You're right. I am? Yeah. And I don't think of you as Richard either. Really? No. You're really more of a dick. Huh. Ooh. I should go back and apologize, but if I don't, I'll... Mm. Be more like a girl, Shirley. 
I am a girl mom and a scientist, but he treats me more like, like I'm his personal geisha. Isn't that what you are? No, I could never look at myself like that. You are not a true man. What? Who are you? Sorry, wrong mirror. Larry, I told you, I don't want to... Uh, Professor, uh, Hiro, I was just talking to your father. Yes, sir. Because I kick him out of my reflection. Would you like a glass of... Dinosaur pee? <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, Eight and a Half Samurai is on public service television. It is sequel to my favorite movie. Oh, well, good. I could use a break from destroying my career. Tomorrow I face certain death. As my personal geisha, you will comfort me. You smell like a sumo wrestler, so you will take a bath. You will bathe me, little Lotus Bottom. No! And it is Lotus yep. Blossom. Stop it! Oh. This is my fantasy! Why do I always have to translate oh. everything that you say? Oh. Perhaps it is because we are dubbed? No, in real life, you idiot! Wait, that's why you keep me as your assistant. You can't be you without me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Wait, something is... Off? Yes. You're not your true self. Who's, Who's not, not their, their true, true self? self? You're, you're not. not. I'm, I'm not. not. No, no, you're, you're not. not. Stop, stop it. No, no you, you stop, stop it. it. What? How, how did I get here? And where is here? Oh, downtown. Shirley Gurley. Uh, uh, ew. Helpless girl scream. Uh, stop it. Shirley Gurley. Bad monster. No. <laughs> Hero, no, you can't stop him alone. I'll help you, but first I have to be my true self. My true self. My true self. Surely, surely, my true surely, self. Jan. My you true have dream. Self. My true, true self? self, my true self. Wait, but it, it wasn't a dream. You were there, and Richard was there, and an ATM, and Tokyo too. Tokyo? Oh, wait. It was Cincinnati. What is an ATM? I have no idea. But Richard was attacking the city. Not Zilla's not the monster. Richard is. And his blaster's going to destroy everyone in Cincinnati. Wait. You... You called me Shirley Chan. Is nickname you give someone you have much feeling for. I have much feeling for you too, Hiro. But... First, we have to save Natsilla and stop Richard. But your career. Oh, I'll worry about that in the sequel. But right now, I have to be my true self. Yes, yes, but how? Beer has made his cells blow up. I tried to unify his cells and return him to his true size to make formula for reverse beer. But so far, I failed. I need catalyst. Fusion, my theory for warm fusion. Fusion holds stars together. Did you know that? And people too. Before I thought I have no power, but now I think I do. I really like this warm fusion. Me too.
you know what time it is? You have to help me save the world. We have only one day left. Ach, mein Auslander. I have this book too. But I got stuck on the last chapter. This is last chapter. Well, it's about time. This must be ready. By tomorrow. Tomorrow? Without testing? Oof -da. There are 200 plutonium rods in that barrel. If they aim uncontrolled... Oh, Come on, Lars! It's Bjorn, and I'm not from Sweden. Hey, who was nominated for the Nobel War Prize, huh? There's a Nobel War Prize? I am missing eight and a half samurai. Why do we have to do this? My heart broke when Midwestern Hayride went off. So we can kill that beer-stealing iguana and introduce the world to my uber-vision power, that's why! Oh, yeah. And so you don't lose your jobs right before Christmas. It's August. Oh, uh, which is Christmas in Sweden, right, Bjork? We will build it, I promise. Oh, manly stubble face, Lidair. And it will be the best uberfission mega blaster ever. Well, yeah, because it's the only... Never get past this field. There he is, sir. Are you getting this, Kenny? Like a match to celluloid. Hmm. You idiot! I told you to mine the field. Mine the field. Hero? Uh, Richard? It's me. Pearl, you're not gonna believe what I discovered about Blowfish. But I can't tell you on the phone because that would undercut the dramatic buildup. So get over to Gus's now. Oh. What's that? A list of ways to kill Richard. You're gonna like him even less when you hear this. I'm guessing you'll be looking for a job. <laughs> As a woman nuclear physicist. Oh, I understand. Me, I got a double glass ceiling. I'm a woman and I'm from New Jersey. Well, what can you tell me that I don't already loathe about Richard Blowhart? Not much, since he died April 1st of 1945. What? In Lichtenstein, testing his uber-fission megablaster. <gasps> The entire research center went wiggy wiggy kaboonga schlock. The only other survivor was Blowhard chauffeur. <gasps> Breathe, honey. He's having the team build a mega blaster. Yeah, I know. You know? Yep, just like I know you're about to say, I have to stop him, and Hero has to save Natsilla. And I've got to tell the world about it. Bring up your rear. Now fall back! This is it, men. I... Our last bastard of defense. Bastion. Last bastard of Bastion. If the monster makes it into the city, we face impossible odds. One-way streets, rush hour traffic. Sir, the creature is approaching. If we fail to stop him here, there'll be more bloodshed. And I, four-star General Dirk Bogus, simply will not allow that to happen. Actually, sir, no one has died. It's almost as if the monster were just playing. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Is the grid ready? Yes, sir. Just turned it on. 2,000 kilowatts and no mimes in sight. He'll look like fried ghetto the second he touches that t towel. There he is. Wait, where did that blimp come from? Thank <laughs> you. 
team is finishing my uber fission mega blaster even as we speak ego ergo i'm the one to end this massive bloodshed once and for all you and whose army there hasn't been any actual blood shut, shut up. up wait listen what i don't hear anything that's just it <laughs> i always wanted to say that Just a cat. You want a cigarette? Sure. Got a light? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, Andy, come here. Stay with us. Oh, what is it, Marty? Look, why do they always do that? They always get out of the car. Uh, for no reason. Yeah, exactly. And then they run. Uh, for no reason. Yeah. Well, and, and then they fall down. Look, for no reason. That's exactly. <laughs> Oh, great. And then I fall down. And then, uh, uh, there's a monster. <laughs> and the monster always comes and picks him up. Oh, uh, no, wait, Marty, look. That's a doll. You're right, it is. Oh. No, 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 wait, look, 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 this are. Oh. Yeah. Now I know how Faye Ray felt. <laughs> you like it? It's called Ode to Terror. <laughs> oh, is that... More beer? Great, more beer. He must be 160 feet tall by now. They grow up so fast. Oh. Ah! Marty, go get the marshmallows! Oh. Hey, oh. no! Wait, bad dinosaur, bad Nazilla. That's right, you heard me, didn't you? You did. Mama Nazilla says no. Uh -huh. Yes, she does. Little tiny Mama Nazilla says no. Now, Throw that thing away. You don't know where it's been. Like, oh, no, no, wrong hand, wrong hand. The other hand, the other hand. That's right, honey. Oh, ooh. Let's go, let's go, let's really go. Push him back, push him back, way back! Where are the tanks? Stuck in traffic. There he is! Hey, he's turning around. We're safe! So much the fire, I mind. That's where it comes from. Exactly. No, bad Nazilla, bad. Put the fire out, honey. Oh. oh, that's better. We can't let them hurt you, baby. So go to your room. Go to the hills. Huh? Yeah, the hills. Only put Mama down first. Well, who's the biggest wig left? Putting you through. This is General Specific. 
Holy moly, that is so great. What? I haven't said anything yet. I just read the subtitle. I'm sorry, how can I help you? We have a situation here in Cincinnati. I have tickets to the ballet. I will ask Dr. Blora to join me. <laughs> You'll never make it. And why is that, Monsieur Gauche? Because we got a ticket to the moon right there. I'm leaving for Houston at 5.23 p.m. I'm flying to Stockholm, Sweden at 2.45. I'm oh, just kidding. Minneapolis, don't you know? Oh, now I know the world's gonna end. Block made a funny. <laughs> oh, you have little faith. Our brilliant leader would know. Oh, yes, he would. What? The real Dr. Blowhart went kabunga schlot in 1945. Our Richard is the former child actor, Donnie Draper, star of the Dougie Dougwood Boy Genius Serials. But no, I love those. Donnie Draper is why I became a physicist. I swore one day I would marry him. He's French. Uh-huh. Oof, duh. I could tell Donnie Draper didn't understand a word he said. And now Cincinnati's gonna go kabunga schla if we don't keep this third grade tetherball champ away from that. I always used to break that little rope where the ball would angle from, but never play it. I don't believe it. Are you saying one of us is not what they claim to be? Oh, for cute. How could we have missed it? But our jobs. We'll be toast, yes. But please, disarm the blaster before... We have to stop letting him define us. We are not his personal geishas. You had me until geisha. <sighs> Who put this crazy narcissist in charge? Why they did. did. Oh, I know. You'll say they did, but who is they? They is us. We are all to blame. Right, thanks. This is what he does to people. This is Uber Fission. A real leader doesn't push people apart but he brings them together and empowers them. He helps them find their true selves. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Huh? I got bupkis. What is this? The formula for warm fusion. It incorporates all of your notes. <gasps> you, you. I filed the patent in your names. those tanks up. Keep those cards and letters coming in. General Boker, sir, we're ready. The moment that monster shows up... No, we have to wait for... Uh, what's it called again? Magic hour. We can't wait. It'll be disastrous. It'll be gorgeous. Where will my face look best? Hmm? I'd rather not say, sir. All right, Snuggies. Pull the tarp on. Gorgeous. Now point it toward the city. But the monster will be coming from... Drama, the... people. It's all about drama. Wind rustling hair, check. Sun glinting off a of manly stubble, check. You, you ignore, ignore him. him. I'm, I'm in charge in here. here. Without my tanks, without my blaster, the, the world, world faces, faces certain. Dookie. Poop. Oh, how did that get here? Nazilla, sir. Nonsense. There'd be a lot more of No, him. Nazilla. Half a mile away. Oh. <gasps> Dramatic finale build-up. Oui, mon capitaine.
Well, so much for being accepted as a real scientist. Or saving Cincinnati. Where's Hero? We can't do this without him. Who wants chili? I, I do. do! Now or never, Uncle B. Wait, man! Get back on camera! I mean, back in strategic positions. <gasps> 50 years, tops. I mean, it would be the city that glows. General Bogus, Nazilla's coming. My precious. Oh, I've been there. Uh -huh. You're all fired. Now we know what you meant by unlimited power, took us breath. You don't give beer to a lizard, Donnie. Well, how did you know? And I'm not Swedish, you imbecile. And I'm not white, either. Dr. Block, you're black? How could you? Oh, where's my... Oh, surely. At least I can count on my girl. Woman! Scientist! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, is that inappropriate? Now, where's that little giggle I love? <laughs> I love it when you do that. It's so you. Thank you. It's our honor, Dr. Eugest. Nazilla is here! Aww. <gasps> oh. Oh. <gasps> How sweet. He brought me a bouquet of trees. <laughs> Fire! Fire! Go away, baby. Go away. Huh? Little Mama you. Nazella says it's okay. Look. Just this it's one time. It's cuddle time. It's here. Right here, baby. Come on, baby. Okay, come on. Nazella. Come on, Little baby. Come on. Too, Boutte. You lied. I ate you, Richard. I love you, dummy. <gasps> Boutte's a woman. Well, now I feel better about looking at her. Uh -huh. Just look at you. How could anyone do science when you look like that? Wait, did you actually just say that? We. Oui. I love you. I must possess you. Okay. You are an imbecile, but you are my imbecile. She's French. <laughs> I am sorry. You are a real scientist, and a real woman. As are you. And I understand why you did what you did. And I am sorry I have to do this. Love makes one stupid, no? Uh, do what? Only one plutonium rod is working, mon cher, but it is enough for you to kill the creature that has stolen your joy. Stand back, everyone, or I will destroy you. For your own good, of course. I only want to kill Natsilla. I am no 
Godzilla. I am not Zilla. I am not Zilla. I am totally not Zilla, dude. <laughs> Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Fine. Then I guess we can be friends. Dr. Shirley, you just? Yes. I'm general specific. Miss Stringer gave me the intel and the rest I've seen for myself. Dr. Blowfish is no longer fit to head Snuggy. Anyway, his theories are bogus. Sir, uh, ma'am. Shut up. Can you rebuild the program using your warm fusion? The team says they'll only stay if you're in charge. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Professor Honda. If you agree, I have been authorized to install you as head of the Pentagon's new giant monster protection program. <laughs> yes, but protection from what? Sequels. Do you have any regrets about adopting? None whatsoever, darling. <laughs> Sit up straight, honey. Do what your mother says. <laughs> Funny how you look for happiness, and one day it finds you. Sit up straight, honey. Now, sweetie pie, remember, I used to be a really important person. And you're happy too, my love? Yes. I'm just glad that everyone is finally their true size. <laughs> <sighs> Me too. Don't forget your toys, honey. I've been waiting to ask how you feel about having more children. And now seems like the good time. Oh, darling, I don't know how. <gasps> But how? <laughs> uh, I never said there was only one. It's Charlie the Big Cheese Cheeseman on WHAT AM! What? It's not Zilla Week, people. That's right. Everybody's favorite monster is inspiring hits so big I can't stand them! What? First up is Dino Surfin', the breakout new single from Kentucky's number one surf band, Bobby and the Bleach Boys! <laughs> Well, I didn't own no records and I never seen a movie. My grandpa said, I love you, son, but dude, you sure ain't movie, uh huh. Stop driving that old tractor boy and parking it at school. It definitely factors into why you're so uncool, uh huh. You gotta catch a fin and go dino surfing with me. The crew begins when we're dino surfing, you'll see. Once you ride a dino tail, you'll be hanging ten. Every move's a final boy, you'll wonder where you've been all your life. Once Dino moves, he's a combustible machine. Especially if he's had a lot of beer and eats some beans, uh-oh. You gotta catch a fin and go dino surfing with me. The crew begins when you're dino surfing, you'll see. You gotta catch a fin and go dino surfing with me. The group begins when you're dino surfing, you'll see. You gotta 
catch a fin and go dino surfing with me. The group begins when you're dino surfing, you'll see. It's time to make the world a better place, people. What? No, just kidding. Hey, let's crank it up with a hot new single from Dinah and the Sorrells. Spinning up into it, honey, you'll be on top of it all. Come on, baby, you're doing an awesome Attitude is altitude, then baby, your tent story's tall. Come on, baby, you're doing an awesome Just lift up your tail and let out a pop. You just can't fail to do a little. And do it some more Dramatic pause Now roar Get your roar Your fins they look like paper dolls Your zipper comes up to your neck The honey original One down the shore discotheque Just lift up your tail Some more dramatic pause now. Roll. 